<laughs> Will I lose everything if I do the latest garage band update? I'm scared. You're pretty safe to go to iOS 16.1.1. There were a heap of issues with 16.0. I did not recommend people go to 16 when it first came out. People went to 16. They were sad. Don't be like them. Don't be sad. Do what I say. And that is don't go to 16. Don't go to don't go to updates until basically they've gone to the complete point one. At the at the one dot updates, you're usually pretty good. So at 16.1, it was fine. It's now 16.1.1 for iOS and iPad OS. Yeah, pretty fine. I'm not hearing any tales of woe. I've updated most of my devices. I have no tales of woe. The thing that you want to make sure that you do, and this is fundamental, is always make sure you've got some backups. And there's a few different ways you can back up if you've got GarageBand. It's kind of similar on the Mac or on iOS. It's to not keep your stuff or your only copy of your stuff on your on my iPad. And the same goes for your Mac. Don't keep your only copy of your stuff on your hard drive. And GarageBand Mac is particularly annoying because its default location is just on your hard drive. Now, if you've got a time machine backup, you're okay there. But what I tend to do is when I start working on a project in GarageBand Mac, I'll actually save it directly to my iCloud drive location. That way it backs up automatically. And that way, if I have to completely reinstall my Mac OS or my hard drive crashes or anything like that, I don't have any problems. The same goes here. If I've got stuff stored in here, I've only got this one thing, just, just as an example thing. I, just, I always keep my funk, my brass in here, which uh, I kind of like actually. Yeah, it's time for Garage Band. We'll be here on Video Live today. Sounds like an intro, doesn't it? Sounds like a funky intro. Don't store anything just here. So if I really wanted to make sure I kept this, what I would want to do is I'd actually want to copy this and I'd want to bring it over here and put it on my iCloud drive in this location. Because what this does is it makes sure that it keeps everything. So I'd go in here to my ideas folder and I'd tap and hold and I'd paste it in here. And oh, I've already got it there. So we'll stop doing that. So obviously I've already done this as an example previously. So everything is saved there. Now, Apple don't give you a whole lot of uh, storage space there. So you may need to uh, update your iCloud drive storage. Now, I don't recommend, there's not very many things that I say spend your hard-earned cash on, but if you're an Apple user, I've got to say, updating your iCloud storage is one of them. You're going to pay a bit of coin. Let's come in here and look at the plans and pricing. It's not super cheap, but it's not super expensive either. So here's your pricing. So if you, for most of you that are in the USA, if you update to 50 gigabytes, it's going to cost you 99 cents per month. If you upgrade to 200 gigabytes, 2.99 a month. Two terabytes, which is what I have, 10 bucks a month. So 120 dollars a year. Now for me, I run a business. This is my business. This is my livelihood. I pay for that because I need to make sure that every iOS device, because this is a good thing, iCloud Drive lets you back up your iOS devices, your iPads, your iPhones. Uh, it lets you store all of your files. It lets you back up all of your apps, um, app data, and storage. So. And all of my iMovie projects, all my Logic files, all of my GarageBand files, they are all saved to the cloud. And uh, for me, I pay, because I'm down here in Australia town, I pay $14.99, or at least I used to. Now I actually have the Apple One subscription. So that's the other thing you can do. The Apple One subscription includes your two terabytes, and you pay about 40 uh, I pay $42, I think, a month. And I get Apple TV, I get Apple Music, I get Apple Games, I get um, the two terabytes of storage. So that is something that I would recommend for most folks. And I know you're paying the Apple tax, I know you should get more for free. But you don't, and the reality is, do you want do you want the situation where you've lost everything at the end of the day? You're pretty safe to do it, just make sure you're not in the middle of a project. That's what I always say, don't be right in the middle of a really big project. It's not the time to update, and make sure you have backed up. There's other ways to back up, of course. You can use USB drives, you can use things like, you can zip up your files. So you do have to zip up GarageBand files if you want to store them on somewhere like Google Drive or Dropbox or Drive or Box or all those places. There's a heap of different cloud storage options. Or again, you can just copy them over to another computer to have a local copy or a USB drive. There's uh, options out the wazoo.